don't you know? I'm going to save lives. This was a typical response from a son to a concerned mother wondering where her child was running off to at odd hours of the night. Waking up at a moment's notice, this selfless volunteer would run out of the house with only one thing on his mind, to help those in danger as quickly as possible. My dad used to time how long it would take to Miles to run from his room to his car after we heard the all too familiar sound of his pager. He would cover the distance in a time that Usain Bolt would be proud of. I know there were times where I had to get out of the way or risk being run over. Even though no words will ever describe my brother, I will always remember him as an optimistic, loving individual with a contagious smile who always put the needs of others before his own. Tomaz would be a designated driver, work overtime so that his coworkers could spend time with their families, make long road trips to support Greg's varsity soccer team, or make a surprise visit to a homesick older brother adjusting to life at college. Even at the end, in the face of fear, Tomas's only concern was to get his brothers out of the line of fire. My brother will always be known as a jokester and a prankster, using humor to combat anger or fr frustration and lighten the mood, even when the setting wasn't always appropriate. He, was, he would pop his head into random classrooms and interrupt a, le a lesson plan just to say hello to, to his friends, make fu funny faces at my parents when they were yelling at him for something he did or play a practical joke on an unsuspecting friend or family member. Unfortunately, I was his favorite target, but I always appreciated them in the end because I couldn't help but smile. I will never forget the time Tomas came home from one of his EMT classes wanting to check my pulse using the femoral artery, which is on the inside of a person's thumb. <laughs> when he asked me to sit down and didn't reach for my neck or my wrist, I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> The look in his eyes wasn't helping either, but I played along. I don't think I've ever jumped higher from a sitting position. <laughs> Until recently, I was frustrated with Tomaz's hobby. I knew that my brother was always an active, hands-on individual, so I knew this was a good way to keep him busy, but I never understood his place in his life. I was annoyed by the noises from his pager, upset that he seemed to be abandoning our family to the point where I rarely saw him. I'm confused as to why he committed so much time, effort, and money to this hobby. I now know that this was so much more than a hobby. This is what Tomas loved to do and needed to do. His passion and commitment to the service is something to admire. Tomas never really wanted expensive gifts and was not concerned with designer clothing or the latest technological toys. So spending money on fire department clothing and equipment was his way of rewarding himself. Most importantly, Tomaz was not abandoning our family. He was simply spending time with his extended family at the firehouse and the 911 center. This remarkable group of people has made us part of their family, extending a generosity and kindness to us that seem lost in today's chaotic world. And I really regret not meeting all of you soon. Although I never had the pleasure of meeting Mike Ciparini, people's memories from the past week have told the story of a true role model, a role model whose qualities continue to shine through his family, his wife, Kim, his beautiful daughters, Casey and Kylie, and his son, Nick. My brother's praises for his mentor were never ending. Thank you all for your hugs, your attentive detail and preparation for today's funeral, and thank you all for taking care of everyone, little brother. In closing, I would like to read a poem that I think summarizes these two men. Not how did he die, but how did he live? Not what did he gain, but what did he give? These are the units to measure the worth of a man as a man, regardless of birth. Not what was his church, nor what was his creed, but had he befriended those really in need? Was he ever ready 
with a word of good cheer to bring back a smile, to banish a tear. Not what did the sketch in the newspaper say, but how many were sorry when he passed away. To our true heroes, Tomas and Mike, we have served us well. God will take care of us now. <laughs>